Good morning, everyone. Um, I lived in Armenia for a year and a half, and I saw how much uh, need there was for a collective, a collective Armenian, just like we're saying, and how we need to unite the diaspora and those living in Armenia to see out that collectivity between all the Armenians around the world. And so for that, that's why I joined. You can have other identities. If you live in Canada, the United States, France, wherever you live, you can have multiple identities. And being Armenian is not a given. And it truly is a choice, whether you have an Armenian last name or you don't, you have to choose to be Armenian. And so the last year for many of us, uh, including myself and my friends, Levon and Sevan, it's been a big wake up call. And so like many of you, we are now getting much more engaged and the era of being passive is coming to an end. And as part of that, uh, we need to come together around a common vision. And that's why the future Armenian is so critical and so important. Common vision, not for the next week or month or six months, but for the next 20 years with clear goals. And that will lead to real change and real impact on the ground. There are no such experts in the world that can dream about the future and figure out how to get there. So we're all actual experts. So I'm really looking forward to having all of you participate, give your opinion, and, and, and believe in yourself that you are the experts if you care about the proper future of the country. In the future Armenian project, we intentionally didn't talk about the how, we talked about the what, because we wanted the how to be developed together with other Armenians from around the world. Yes, we have the McKinsey company working with us. We have other professional bodies advising us, but we want people to get involved into this project so that we all become stakeholders and we develop the how together, right? So right now we're, we're building a list of, I don't know, about 500 experts in different areas and we'll be reaching out to these experts um, and answering it or addressing every single one of those 15 points together. Maybe these 15 points will end up being 10 points or, or maybe they'll end up being 20 points. We don't know yet, but we believe these 15 basically cover 90% of what what should we have to have a successful um, and a prospering Armenian nation?